Hello. While this is mostly addressed to the people at St. Francis, I'm aware that there are some of you who don't attend at St. Francis who nonetheless are able to be in the same room with us for at least this. Welcome. You're glad to listen and in so far as you can make any sense of this, fine for you as well. Ah, these interesting times in which we live. Here's the way we're doing services at St. Francis now. For the masses, I will be at altar, the deacons likely to be with me. For the prayer services on Wednesday, Vespers, and for the Holy Week services, I at least will be there. Please see to yourself in your own good sense. Know that the candles will be lit, the flames for the new vigil will be struck, the palms will be thrown in the air, prayers will be made, the sacrament will be consecrated, even if you're not there. And it will happen as it has happened before, even when I'm not there. The church goes on through wars, plagues, vacations, Super Bowls, and any number of things. It's entirely possible that for many of you, you have heard from adult children railing at you to make sure that you don't go to church. And how nice it is that you have those that care that much about you. Listen to them. Listen to your doctor. Listen to your good sense. And also consider it something of a teaching opportunity. Many people's children can't understand why you would risk anything to go to church. What's in that? Well, you might explain to them exactly what is in church for you when you're able to come and when you do. And you may, you just may make a deal with them, hey, that you'd be happy not to go to church at their behest and later when this passes, you certainly would hope they'd return the favor and go to church with you. In any case, we live in love and with as good common sense as we can. I'll be putting out, as you've already seen, daily videos of readings and prayers. <coughs> These are from, that's something in my throat. These are from Sherry's and my home. There'll be another one on Wednesdays and Sundays from the church. Becky Chapman, Deacon Becky Chaplin, has been absolutely essential in helping someone like me figure out how to do these things as best as is possible. And she's working on ways to let you know that you might subscribe to a YouTube channel for the church or the Facebook page or all of those things. That's why she's essential in some very important ways. Know that life goes on. And some of us who are of an age have long since figured out that we're past noonday for us. And we've already made sense with the fact that the day will come, whether it's from the flu or something else, that we die. And we've dealt with that. We have faith. We have hope. And so those that would attempt to frighten us about death are roughly in the same situation as someone who runs up fearfully to the Amish and says, the sky is falling, the power is going out. And I don't want to make too light of this, but also at this day and age, I don't want to make too heavy of it either. In God's good name, we live we love, we laugh. Easter is coming. Yesterday we celebrated the Annunciation and 
We're less than nine months from Christmas. I hope to see you Christmas Eve. I hope you're there to see me on Christmas Eve. And in the meantime, we make the best of what we have. Life goes on, God willing. See you soon. Amen.